Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger! This is your ever lovable host, Shadowblade730. And since last time I took a rest at a shelter, recovered all my HP and MP, we're set and ready to go! See what's left here in this cave. If you have any way of getting out of here and transporting back to, um... Oh, wait up. What is this? Well, you don't look too happy. We're not the mystic's enemy, we're just here! But anyway, he's not going to take no for an answer for boss battle against Hecran. Hecran is actually not that difficult. Um, as with most enemies in this cave, stick to magic. That's your best bet. Um, now, if you are getting kind of low, like around 100 HP or so, just go ahead and have Marley use Aura, heal up. And just kind of regulate between the um, using magic. Now, if you really want to, which, which after this little round here, what I'm going to do is... Um, have Marley and Luca combine to use Antipod. It's really, really good. And it's a little bit higher damage output than just using their spells individually. Yep, 136. Yep, let's see. Antipod! This build is actually really good against a boss we're going to be fighting soon enough. Soon enough. But really want to show it off. Yep, 290 damage. That's not bad at all. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Ow. Yep, about time to heal up Luca. Hit him with lightning. Marley, go to Aura, use Aura. Yeah, unfortunately, Marley really doesn't get a multi targeting heal spell for quite some time. Oh, see, now here's an interesting little part where he says, go ahead, try an attack. Don't do what he says. If you have to use any kind of multi healing, go ahead and you take Marley and Chrono and use um, Aura Roll. Now, see, he's back to his normal state. He won't counterattack. So just go back, hit him with magic. <coughs> As I'm doing, hit him with antipod. And have Chrono use lightning. You should be pretty good. Like I said, really not that difficult to fight. Just, you know, keep an eye on your HP. Keep an eye on your MP. Should be pretty good. Excuse my dog in the background. Getting kind of angsty. I think I need to put bring him up for a walk tomorrow. Try and walk him every day. He's a nice fellow though. Big Greyhound. Beautiful dog. Really affectionate though. That's the problem. And here comes my grandmother's Chihuahua. Yeah, that, that those two are a real pair. Chihuahua actually thinks it's basically Lord of the House. But being my grandmother's dog and she adored that little thing. Oh yeah. We had to take care of it. See, right back, back to where it was. Do not try an attack. If you need the multi heal, just have Krona, Krono and um, Barley use Aura World. See? There we go. Multi targeting heal. That's the only multi targeting heal you're going to get for a good little bit. Alright, he should be about done. Um, usually, after about two or three of these those counter attack um, animations, he's pretty much done. I said, not that difficult of a fight. Alright, let's see. Yep, there we go. And we got him. Hey, Chrono got a level. Good. Alright, what do you got to say there, bud? Oh, so Magus was the one who summoned Lavos 400 years ago. Really? So, we're gonna have to try and stop this evil, evil person. Right, so. Hey, that makes sense. If we stop him from summoning Lavos, maybe the world would be a better spot. I mean, since he was, basically from what it sounded like, he created the thing. So, I mean, yeah. Let's put a stop to that. Okay, just hop in the water here. Oh, there's the whirlpool and it shoots us over here. But first, before we actually warp back in time, well, actually, yeah, we'd we'll be back in time. Um, let's go talk to Luca's dad real quick because um, he's got a little prize for us. Yeah. Looks like he hasn't been sitting on his laurels the whole time. All right, let's head down here. Okay, nobody's here. Um, is he over here? Where is he? Luca's dad, are you out in the back boozing it up? Come on, man. You're supposed to be a professional. You're a scientist. 
do some science stuff. Oh, there he is. Okay. So, what are you up to, Pops? Oh. Now, see, people ask me, Shadowblade, how have you successfully maintained a marriage that's going on, let's see, 16, 17 years now? Oh, here we get a new prize, the Taven's Vest. Oh, very, 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 very good piece of equipment. Probably going to be staying on Luca for a long time. It halves fire damage. It ups her speed. It's got really good defense. Yep, got to keep it. Got to keep it. Really good. Anyway, ask me how I kept my marriage going for so long. Honestly, I learned a little trick. Make sure your wife's always got money. Things are always going to be okay. And whatever she says, agree with her. No matter how wrong she is, agree with you. Uh, because you will never hear the end of it. Now here's another little trick. Remember that guy we uh, rescued from the guillotine in the prison? Right after we got back to present time? Well, here he is. Seems like he owes us a favor. Yeah, you're really up, really up kind of um, certain kind of creek there, buddy. No, of course not. Oh, 10 mid ethers? Hey, I'll take that. That's nice. Those are going to come in really handy. Well, more hardly working, but you know, who's to say? <laughs> oh, you're in my. I'm. You're in my debt. So, can I get like a discount or something? Which I think it really does give a discount, but there isn't really too much to buy here. Uh, I think they have the same equipment as. Um, Melchior had. Um, you also buy ham arms, Titan's vest, stuff like that. I wouldn't really worry about it. Um, you also have the usual um, supplies here, tonics. Yeah, I was thinking to buy mid tonics here, but I really wouldn't worry about them right now. Um, yeah, there's a lot of other stuff on our plate right now, like heading back to do time. Now you can go to Chrono's house, crash out in your bed. Gain your MP and XP back, uh, MP and HP back, but don't worry about that. There's another way we can do that. All right, now we're back to the Millennial Fair. Let's go head back to that gate, the first gate we actually um, encountered. See so if we can't use that to get back to the end of time. Every time I see that, it makes me want to watch Doctor Who again. I don't know, I keep saying that. <laughs> but now, since we've accessed that gate, having since accessed the end of time, we have a nice little way to actually get there at all times. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, this actually kind of acts as a hub for all the rest of the timelines. But now, we want to actually go back to 600 AD at Truce Canyon. See if we can't go back there and try and stop this fellow named Magus. See, because if we stop him, he won't create Lavos. Lavos will destroy the future, and the future is saved. Sounds like pretty good, reasonable logic. But first, there's a little trick I want to show you real quick. Something I forgot. Remember back in Medina Village of the Mystics? There's a couple things I did forget there. Now, if you're there, I suggest accessing these um, ASAP. They're really nice and they're going to be helpful even though I won't use them right away. There's some items I really need to get there because it's killing my OCD and there's a certain item that I need for a certain favorite party member of mine. Not my favorite, but probably the most powerful. You know what I'm talking about, viewers. Right, head back to Medina Village and pop out the, um, the cupboard. See, come on now. Come on. Yeah. Yep, out the cupboard. Every time that happens, it gives me a, a feeling of um, that scene in Lion of Witch in the Wardrobe. I haven't watched the movie in a while. I need to. What you want to do is go over here to the Elder's House. Now, here in the Elder's House, you don't actually have to talk to anyone. But as soon as it actually progresses, notice that little shiny right there on the table? If you access it, you get a speed tap, which is very nice. Now, if you head upstairs, all right, see that little shiny? Access that. You get a magic tab, which is very nice. Uh, remember, all magic tabs 
just put them on robo trust me it helps out a hundred percent speed tab i'm probably gonna eventually give that to um let's see what kind of tabs i have okay just two magics and a speed speed tab i'm probably gonna give to luca because even with the taven's vest her speed is kind of atrocious and i really want her to act kind of quickly so um, or we could probably give it to robo robo needs all the speed he can get as well but robo really needs those magic tabs more than anything and he will be getting to a little bit of use soon enough soon enough now that we've got that now remember um there was that little blue pyramid in the upper right hand corner earlier um just remember that for later we'll be coming back there let's head back uh if you want to get back just access the um cupboard opens up opens the gateway back to the end of time yep now we'll go back to 600 ad and see if we can do a little exploration See if you can find a way to stop that evil Magus. Gamma. Alright. I think this is... Yep. Choose Canyon 600D. Good. Good, 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 good. Alright. Warp on through. Alright. Puts us right back at the canyon. Yep. Here we go. this way and just make our way out here just like we do every other time unfortunately here's a fixed encounter can't get around it but these enemies just take one attack each just to get rid of so just do that don't worry about it it's more of an inconvenience than anything imp aces wow have they actually defeated five other imps in aerial combat to achieve that title of ace or is just a name, just give it to it because it sounds cool. I'm going with option B. Yeah. Let's head way over here, down this. Um, you can fight that battle. I wouldn't suggest it. It's just really a waste of time. They don't really give enough bang for my buck. And really, I don't need a grind. So, let's head over here. Uh, let's go see if we can talk to the king. Let's see if he knows what's going on. Maybe he has a way to actually find where Magus is. All right, let's head over here through the force, just like we always do, avoiding any unmandatory encounters. Wait, you know what? Before we head there, remember, head this way, access this little bush, and get our free shelter. Always access that. Trust me, you can never have too many shelters. <laughs> All right, now let's head over to the castle. Okay, come on, transition screen. Head up to Guardia Castle. Right, let's see what the king's got to say. Um, remember me? I was cool. I saved your queen. I'm awesome. Let me through. Cool. Awesome. Cool. I mean, Frog's not with us, but hey. The legendary hero? Huh. He sounds like quite a guy. I mean, we're the hero of time, so I mean, yep, gotta go this way. Uh, other ways to the queen's room. We want to actually go to the king, king's room. Ah, ah, ah. All right, remember, don't get any treasure because we want to get better treasure in the future. Head this way. Hey, it's Queen Lee. What do you got to say? Oh, Cyrus. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not losing any more royalty. Come on. Oh. So Cyrus was the real hero, but since the boy has the hero's medal, he's the new hero that's appeared. Okay. Cyrus, huh? All right, well, let's see if we can head south. Find out this little hero. See if he'll join our party, join our adventure, and help us stop Magus. Because, I mean, being the hero of legendary hero... He's got to help us, right? Right? But first, let's head over here, because, um... Running over here, I kind of... Peaked up a little bit of an appetite. Let's see if we can talk to the cook real quick. Wow! Looks like he's doing... He's kind of busy there. Burning the midnight in the oil, aren't we there, bub? Oh, so he's supplying food to the troops at Zenon Village. Zenon Bridge. Okay. Well, you know what? Since the troops are over there, let's go check out the troops and see what we can do to help them. 
Because maybe they know of a way to make it across and get to Megas. So we can save the future. Alright, head back through Guardia Forest. I'm going to stop off, pick up our shelter, just like always. Every time I go through the Guardia Forest, 680 deep, pick up a, a shelter. Why not? It's free, and it's like a couple seconds to get. There we go. A shelter? Awesome. I mean, I wouldn't suggest sitting there and just grinding up 99 of them. You can, but you have better things to do with your time. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see if we can head to the Xenon Bridge. Now to access it, just step up a little bit, yep, right there, and just hit your access button. And that should bring you to it. Alright, let's see what the soldiers do. Oh, nope, dang, gone it! Arr, I hate when that happens. Just head back, access the Xenon Bridge. Come on, game. Come on. Oh, hey, fellas. How's it going? Well, you got a unique gold armor. You must be the captain. Oh. So, you need rations? Oh, no. They're starving. Well, I mean, we're here. Around the kid? Well, there must be some kid. I mean, this JRPG logic. You know, little kid, the younger you are, the more powerful you are, so... But can we wait, find a way to fix the logistics problem? Get these knights some food, fight this battle, and make my way to stop Magus and find the legendary hero? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger! This is your ever-level host, Shadowblade730. See you all next adventure!